to solve a word problem, an easy way is to convert words to mathematical symbols. So for example, we have 2.5%. That's already a mathematical symbol. We can bring it down. And the word of means multiplication. And one number, so of is multiplication. One number, I'm going to use a variable x. And is means equal 25. It's already math symbol. We bring it down. So uh, after we do that, translate words to symbols, I'm going to get uh, this equation right here, 2.5%. Again, 2.5% times x equals 25. And to solve for x, we first, uh, whenever we have a percent, we have to turn that into a decimal so we can uh, solve for, uh, we can get rid of that decimal. So when we uh, convert 2.5 to a decimal, you move the decimal point two places to the left at a zero, so we can move it one more time. So we got 0 0.025. The reason is 2.5% means 2.5 divided by 100. When we divide a number by 100, we can move the decimal point two places to the left. So now we turn that equation, convert that percent to the decimal, and we just have to get rid of this decimal. And we divide both sides by 0 0.025. Now, how do we divide decimals? Since these two decimals are exactly the same, any number divided by itself, it's going to be 1. And, but when we divide decimals, we move the decimal point in the divisor, the bottom number, a um, certain number of times until we turn that into a whole number. So here we can see we have to do it one, two, three times. Now, uh, correspondingly, we must also move the decimal point in the top number, the dividend, to the right the same number of times, which is three times here. So we turn this equation into a problem of 25,000 divided by 25, and which you can see it's 1,000. Because 25 goes into 25 one time, and you, 25 go, goes into the rest of the zeros uh, zero times. If you, want, if you cannot see the answer, set up a long division process. 25 goes into 25 one time. And first, the 25, if we check the 25 doesn't go into 2. We can put a 0 there or we'll leave it blank. And then, um, and then you get zero. And then for the rest of them, 25 goes into zero, zero times. 25 goes into zero, zero times. 25 goes into zero, zero times. So that's the answer. And let's look at uh, another word problem involving uh, involving a percent. So find the annual interest rate if 250 in interest is earned when $35,000 was invested for two years. So we uh, have the formula for the interest, I equals PRT. So again, I means interest, P means principal, R means rate, or interest rate, T means time. So first we copy down the um, formula I equals PRT, and then we plug the numbers in there. So because it says 250 in interest, that tells us I is, this is interest. And this one says invested, so that's the principal. And two years, that's the time. So we're going to plug everything in here. And so here, in order to, so we get this equation. So um, different from the previous problem, the previous problem, um, we just translate directly from uh, every word to symbols. But in this case, we do have a formula a relationship between these uh, quantities. So we have to plug everything into this formula. Now, after we plug everything into the formula, we get this equation, and we just need to uh, get r by itself to solve for this rate, because rate is not a given, so we, we didn't have a number to plug in. So we, here we could, um, two ways, you could get divide, get rid of 2 first, divide both sides by 2, and then get rid of 35,000. Uh, what I did is I went ahead and switched to an r, because multiplication has the community property, so I can multiply 3,502 to get 70,000. And then I just need to get rid of 70,000. 70, I divide both sides by 70,000. So 70,000 cancels 70,000. And 250 divided by 70,000. That's what I need to do. So I, here I, sh I show the lump division process. Um, so 250 divided by 70,000. And you can, um, first of all, it has one, two, three, four, five digits. So you're going to have to have at least five digits here. 
uh, actually um, more six digits because 70,000 doesn't go into two, doesn't go into five, doesn't go into, uh, doesn't go into 25 or 250. So you're going to have to add a decimal point and add a zero. And you will, if you add a one, you will have 2,500, but 70,000 still doesn't go into 2,500. So add another zero, that's 25,000 and it still doesn't go in there. So, but after we add another zero, and that's big enough. So we have 250,000 and 70,000 does go into 250,000 three times. So you will have three, ta three times 70,000, that's 21,000. And this, after we do subtraction, we get four, 40,000. And if you wanna continue, you add another zero and you bring it down. And then 70,000 goes into 400,000 five times. And five times 735 and bring all these four zeros down. And do subtraction again. So we got um, all these zeros, and then zero minus five gives us uh, we not enough, so we can bring uh, reduce this down to three and increase that to a ten. So ten minus five is five, three minus three is zero. And if you do it one more time, and then you you will get um, if you want to continue. Okay. So after we do the long division. And we found out the decimal is going to be roughly 0 0.00357. And when we, how do we convert decimal to a percent? You move the decimal point two places to the right. So you get 3.57%. So usually if you get one decimal place or two decimal places, and that would be good enough.